Hello, today I'll be talking about how to spawn sounds around the actor using a blueprint. Let's make an actor blueprint and name it BP Demo POS, which is player oriented sounds. Let's add a sphere collision component to it and in our construction script. Let's set the sphere radius and promote the sphere radius variable to a new float value, which we can call as sphere radius. In our event graph, make two components for when the player overlaps and when the player ends overlap. Once the player overlaps with this sphere, a timer will start and then when the overlap ends, the timer is cleared. Let's name this function as audio POS and create a custom event for it. This event will spawn the sound at location. Let's get the player's location and attach the sound node to it. After this, promote the sound object reference of the spawn sound to a public variable. Now, if we go into our blueprint, we can already see that when we drag it out, we can set the sphere radius and attach a sound cue to it. I'm gonna attach a cricket and frog ambience around the player. Now, currently we can set only a time to a particular value. Now let's make it a bit random. So drag out the time variable and attach a random float in range. Promote the minimum and maximum values to new variables which you can make public in the blueprint. This will make the sound spawn around the actor between a minimum and a maximum value randomly. After this, add a new custom event called retrigger so that you can retrigger the function every time a new sound is spawned. At the moment, the sound is spawning only at the location of the actor. To make it spawn behind and around the actor, we'll get actor's location and break it into a vector. After this, add a new public variable called distance, which can be then added to the actor's location to spawn the sounds away from the actor. We will need three distance values from this public variable so we can add it to the x, y and z values of the actor's location. Now we don't necessarily want the sounds to spawn beneath the actor so we'll keep z axis values to a defined minimum. Subtract the, these values from the distance to get the minimum values so that they can go in front and behind and left and right. Add these values again and voila, you got the vector which you can add to the spawn sound at location. Now in our blueprint, we can add the minimum and maximum values and the distance from the actor's locations where you want the sounds to be spawned. Thanks for watching.